Hello PC team, it is 10 o'clock and we have 24 hours to make this day count. Let's talk about laziness. Okay, first of all, I'm doing this video 100% for me because I'm in a lazy period and I want to remind myself how and what to do in order to start working. Okay, my university starts in 10 minutes, so we need to go. Okay, I first started working hard when I was 17 or 18 years old because I wanted to be accepted in my university. Until my second year of high school, I never worked hard. I wasn't really good in math and at the same time I didn't love essays and in general everything that school has to offer. My goal was to do the bare minimum in order to just pass classes in my university. And as a matter of fact, it actually worked for so many years. Everything changed when I introduced to my professor and after some years mentor that he introduced me to programming, he taught me how to write code and what is algorithmic way of thinking. But why I tell you all these details about my life? I want to make a point, it is really difficult to be really good at what you are doing at the same time not be lazy if you are not having a really clear goal. Everything started for me when I decided that I want to go to university. I had a really clear goal and I wanted to go to the university of my choosing here in Greece. What is my problem right now? I don't have a clear goal. I don't have something that will make me get up in the morning and be excited to start working. At the same time, I have a theory about laziness. You can't work at full speed for 365 days every year. Let me show you. Let's see. This is productivity. And this is time. First of all, you always have a small noise. What I mean by that, in every state of your work, you will have ups and downs. So you will always have this really small margin that will show you that in every single day, you will have differences from the other day. At the same time, you have an even bigger trend. This means that some weeks or some months you will be really productive and not lazy, of course. So if you combine this to graph, the general graph will be something like that. From this graph you can tell that you have a margin depending on the day and at the same time you have a general trend. For example, right now for me, I'm right here because I feel a productive for the past 10 or 15 days and day by day it gets harder and harder. This means that I think, I hope that I'm here and from now on I will start go from here to here, which is the goal. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Right now is 4 o'clock. I have a course in 10 minutes and the day today was awful. As you can see, I'm working in stuff during the day and this is mainly because I can't do anything else. The idea is that if I'm in lazy period, I'm trying to do as many things as I can during the day, like going to university, working with a friend in a project or things like that, that I can't avoid. When I'm home is the worst period because I have to persuade myself to work which is 100% more difficult. And at the same time, this period, I'm not lucky because I started a project with a friend in C++ and not even the initial files of the project can be compiled. And it's extremely difficult for me to start working and debugging my professor's files. I guess it is something that we can't see, so we'll go tomorrow to talk with the professor, but it is definitely a setback, especially now that I'm not productive. I just finished the course and right now I'm going home. This is the most 
difficult part when you're lazy, when you don't want to do work in general. Because when you go home after a large day, you just want to relax. But enough with my life, let's go to the tips. First of all, as I told you in the first part of the video, even when you are 100% lazy, you always work when this work is with other people. For example, you go to courses, you have projects with your friends or anything else. So the difficult part is to strategize your day with a completely different way of thinking. Sometimes you actually can't go out of your home and you just need to get things done in your home. Sometimes it really helps when you create a list on what exactly you need to do. But don't just create a list. You also need to create weights for each one of these things in your list. So for example, you will create weights on how important is what you need to do, if this is something that needs to be tomorrow, today or in how many days, and of course if you actually want to do this work. Even from these numbers you will start to understand that these responsibilities need to be done first. But if you are still confused and you need a specific schedule, you can summarize all these numbers and understand what is the most important work to be done right now and what is the most irrelevant work to be done after 5, 6 or 7 days. This will be help you to clear your mind and have a clear goal on what you will do when you go home. Today is an upload day, I will upload the video about cases, so right now I need to create tags, thumbnail and all that stuff and after that I think that I will work in TensorFlow or any project for my uni. I'm sure that you guessed it that this will not be a great day because this is a lazy vlog. I didn't do much in TensorFlow and I will try to sleep from 10 a.m. which is good time to sleep but at the same time tomorrow I will not go for run so this is definitely not great. Also I found this little guy, don't tell to my sister. It's lazy week so right now is 11.05 and I need to go to my lab at 11. I have a lab in microcontrollers and in these labs you should never be late. Okay, this is one of my worst days. I lost about one hour of my course because I just wanted to go and play Titsu with one of my friends. So I have only one hour left for my course. Let's go. Okay, right now the day goes from bad to worst. Right now is five o'clock. I ate, slept. And right now I'm thinking to work, but I'm not sure. So I think that I will end the log right here. If you want to see how and why I will try to get out of this laziness, you can watch my next vlog, which will drop in three days, I guess. Also, don't forget to subscribe in order to join the PBC team. And as always, keep coding, guys.